Gardner. I thought um, it's got a 16. More to find that Now we're, we're, I'm sorry, we're, in Greenville, give me an idea, the north, south side. Uh, we're on Winters Road, so I guess that'd be the like south. Um, we're right off of Rope Mountain, which is great. I don't know. We're on 85. Yeah, you're on 85, and you get off the road and head towards Greenville. That's because you're professional camera driver. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the like Can you put this stuff on? Yeah. 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 Basically shave the back off of it. So this is the only area you really have to worry about getting rock chips on the front edge. You don't have to worry about the back. Just to give it a nice clean What is the solution you're using? Uh, this is a Johnson & Johnson based shampoo and water. And the water I'd like to call it JW. Dr. <laughs> water. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. So much easier. Yeah. Yeah. 
After 10, yeah, 10 yeah. years? What's the removal process? We use the same three of the packs. We got all that. We use the four of the eggs. Just the same. Which is the same. Which is the same. Which is the same. Oh, okay. Cool. It's tough to get off. Yeah. 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 Won't allow them to bubble up or anything. Okay. This is similar to the This is water. I'm just going to do like a tack cut right here to get a position. tight on both ends. And this right here just got more popular in the past couple of years. Um, as far as here in the I in California, Florida, where it's a lot more prevalent. But wrap is starting to I'm going to tighten this one down. So this is a require regular paint like maintenance uh, as far as yeah. waxing and everything? Yeah, because it has a straight on clear coat on it, so you treat it just like the rest of your paint. You could actually wet sand and buff this film. It's, it's really tough. I mean, even with me hitting it like that, I mean, it's, it's made to take that kind of use. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
usually at the, when I do these at the performance center, we're at like 65 degrees in the shop. It's a little bit warmer. It's not too bad. The warmer, does it help you to stretch it and stuff? Um, not really. I like it to be cooler. I try to work these kind of fast because the more time you're on it, the more opportunity you have for an error or a contamination. Now, I'm trying to throw many of these new M3s and M4s. I know right where to go with it. You can hear that sound. It means you need more. Gentlemen, where we get our beer at? Where do they get the beer at? Yeah. Oh, really? I was going to get me one of those. 
after I see the finished product. Probably like six cars I need to talk to. I might try one myself. Uh, anybody buy the film or? Yeah. Yeah, you can order kits online. What's the film cost? Um, usually uh, bumper kits are about five kits. There's a little moisture under it and I catch it quick, I can work it on out if it sets there a while. Toward the edge, I can lift it. Oh, okay. Um, and, you know, we're, usually if I'm gonna have, if there's gonna be any moisture, it's gonna be toward the edge of it. Usually the metals are pretty tight.
This is like anything that you do, you know, a good job is well. the details. You know, it it easy, huh? Making sure you pay attention to the details. And then, I'll, like I say, on the backs, I just kind of shave those. So I'm basically coming up to the edge of the hood, but I'm not touching the hood with the blade. It's twice the touch, it's correct. <laughs> it's against you, 9,000. <laughs> Thank you. 